Hello, my name is Paul Hardiman. Welcome to this video on the introduction to the automotive core tools. So the automotive core tools are promoted and used within the automotive industry and particularly they're used within the framework of the automotive specification IETF 16949-2016. And the goal of that specification is about continual improvement, defect prevention, and the reduction of variation and waste. The tools that we're going to take a look at today are Advanced Product Quality Planning, which is known as APQP, Failure Mode and Effect Analysis, FMEA, Measurement System Analysis, MSA, and Statistical Process Control. SPC and these all accumulate into a document called the production part approval process which is known as PPAP. Now let's take a look at some of the requirements in the IATF 16949 2016 specification. We will see within the specification there are now clear requirements that internal auditors clearly understand the application of the automotive core tools. And also that same requirement applies to people that are going out to undertake second party audits. These are audits that are being undertaken of an organization's suppliers. So now let's take a look at some of the requirements in the automotive specification, IETF 16949. I know some of you watching this video will be internal auditors. Internal auditors now have to demonstrate an understanding of the automotive core tools. Because I guess IATF think if they don't, they're not going to be able to undertake effective audits of the processes within their organization. There is also now a similar requirement that people that are going to go out and audit an organization's suppliers, which in the standard are called second party auditors, also understand and can apply the automotive core tools. Now within the framework of ITF 16949, there is no specific requirement to use advanced product quality planning. The standard says that we can use advanced product quality planning when we go about introducing new products, but equally we can use project management. Whichever technique we use, we have to demonstrate that we're using a multidisciplinary approach and within the team of people that are being used, the team have the necessary competence in the automotive core tools. We will see within the framework of IETF 16949 that there is a requirement that people understand basic statistical concepts. So anybody within the organization that is collecting data, analyzing data and using data statistically, they have to demonstrate they have the relevant statistical knowledge to better interpret the data effectively. So we will also see within the framework of IETF 16949 that people within the organization that are collecting, analyzing and using data, particularly where they're using data in a statistical way, that they need to understand the relevant statistical concepts and how to correctly interpret and analyze the data. We also see within the requirements that there is a clear uh, requirement related to measurement system analysis. So for each type of measuring test equipment system that we use within the organization, that we evaluate the variation within the measurement system statistically. There is also a requirement about customer specific requirements. Now, whereas IATF 16949 promotes a set of common automotive requirements, different automotive customers will promote different automotive tools but not just the different tools, the different acceptance criteria for using those tools. The final thing is there is a requirement for the organization to demonstrate that they have an effective process at the end of the new product introduction process to demonstrate that their process has the capability to meet the customer requirements. In automotive speak, that is called a part approval process. So now let's take a little bit more of a look at the tools in a bit more detail. The first tool that I want to have a look at is Advanced Product Quality Planning. If as part of new product introduction we don't ensure these linkages, one, maybe the new product introduction process is not going to be effective, 
but two, we are leaving ourselves very open to non-conformities either in internal audits or when the third party certification body come to audit our organisation. So really, this is something that we need to look at within our organisations to make sure that all these tools and techniques fit together and people that are responsible for the different tools and techniques understand how they should all fit together. So this video gave a very brief introduction of the automotive core tools. If you would like more information on the core tools, visit the link shown.